Okay. Should be that bad. Uh, I guess I'll pick up my bag and start going in. Yeah, so. Guys, I, I am blanking on this right now. What was the station that the Scylla originally was in? What was the bay? 31A. 31A or B. 31B. B. Oh no, 31A Night. was the puddle jumper. 30, yes. Okay, so you find yourself in yeah. uh, bay 31B. I'm where, like, uh, there's like a few people like prepared to greet you. Like, just like as a... Welcome to Delta Station 11B. Are you going to be a permanent resident or temporary? Uh, permanent for now. Alright. And, like, uh, they, they hand you a form. It's about 30 pages long. It's okay. asking some pretty invasive questions. Just, like, it's a whole bunch of, like, bureau bureaucratic, like, nonsense that, like, you always have to sign and fill out every time you go to a new place. It's, like... It's actually quite insane, like, the amount of red tape that these people have to make you jump through. Um, do I have to sign this all right now, or by they the end of the day? They are asking you to do it all immediately. Hmm. Do you yeah, have the bureaucracy right. skill? I do not. <laughs> Alright, then. I'm just gonna skim it, sign. Alright. So... You are required to sign in no less than 78 different places. That's yes, to sign. I will be signing it, though. I want you to make a luck save for me. Hooray! The worst roll I can make. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Hans is not going to be happy. What? <laughs> 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 Uh, mm, okay. the I think, physical. I think Hans has got over that. I think Hans has got over that now, though. Yeah, I mean, he's got Emily. Uh, uh, is there uh, gonna be a problem uh, with my medicals or, or medical no, history? No, you wouldn't. Like, this is just like a random luck check. Like, as you oh. skim and sign. Okay. That's fine. Although I will let you give you two words out of character that lets you know what would have happened. Victor Kovacs. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, that'll explain things. That could happen. That would be a goofy mess. Okay. I, right. I, I finish signing and I give it to the guy. Mm -hmm. Alright. So. There you are. I signed my soul away. <laughs> now. <laughs> do I get a room, or do I have to... They find... assign you a room number. Uh, cool. This is just, like... It really doesn't matter, because, like, there's just... The station is nowhere near max capacity, so... So, find a room, take it? Yeah. They just, like... There are empty rooms, like, on the entire E deck of Habitation, as well as F and G levels... Uh, H is currently down, so we do not recommend you going there unless you wish to die by vacuum. Ooh, that doesn't sound friendly. Yeah, I'll stay away from that. And they, like, hand you, like, a small, like, card that says, like, new resident. And, it, like, it's, it looks like what, what was once considered a credit card. It's like, a, it's like an electronic room key. Yeah. I grab it, I, I pocket it, and... Oh. Uh, will that just let me get into a room and it'll instantly claim it for me, or what? Yes. Cool. Now, question. What kind of uh, recreation, recreational things are there? Well, we have recreational training grounds. All, f all five of those are currently active and operable. We have a gymnastics center. We recently got that online, thanks to the help of people down in engineering. Um, we're working on getting the casino up and running again. Ooh. Uh, what happened to it? Uh, just depressurization of the entire level. Oh, that 
doesn't sound all that fun. No, no. It's <clears throat> pretty pretty deadly. How long would it take for it to go back up? It could take anywhere depending on it, any amount of time depending on its priority to engineering. Hmm. I see. Now, is there any rules against gambling out in the halls? No, but that's... There's no specific rules, but just try not to do it too much. Okay. Fair enough. And are, do you know of any plausible work that I can get? Yeah, there's always, like, like there's always new openings down in the hydroponics. Like, that's our farm levels. Hmm. Other than that, uh, it all depends on what skills you have. Uh, anything in finance? Well, you know, half of... Like, he kind of mutters under his breath. Do you have perception? Uh, I do. Roll it. Wisdom? Mm-hmm. Alright, so you hear him say, like, yeah, half of command was slaughtered. Oh, what happened to them? Like, he I, just I... looks at you, like, like, covers his mouth, like, oh, shouldn't have said that so loud. So, how many empty vacancies are there for finance? Um... Quite a few, to be I'll honest. Glad, I'll gladly take a position. Well, you'll have to speak to the commander himself now. Is he stubborn or anything I should know about him if I talk to him? I mean, he did just recently gain the position, so... Ah, uh, so he's probably a scattered brain, a scattered brain right now. Yeah, maybe a little. That will be fun. Anything else I should be aware of? Um. Oh, yes. We want you and everyone else around here to be aware of a rogue psychic. And, like, he pulls, like, out, like, a picture. And kind of, like, like he's he looks to be about six foot two, like, Caucasian, blue eyes, brown hair, like... He looks very nondescript, really, but, like, you feel like you could recognize him if you see him again. Okay. He just says he has caused irreparable damage to the station previously. And he is a uh, rather dangerous, dangerous adversary. I see. I'll... I'll keep that in mind. How, exactly how dangerous is he on a scale of one to black holes? Uh, three quarters uh, black hole? <laughs> I was going to say two black holes. I see. That is pretty dangerous. I'll, I'll make sure to keep an eye out and probably run away if I see him. That's what most of us have planned to do. It is, is his name on the sheet? Yes or no? Uh, would anybody have given the name of this psychic? Francis Woodhoff. All right, yeah. It's just like... In, in his, in his uh, shit, what did I call it? The Cooper Mandate, was it? Uh-huh. You did give the name, so it's like just yeah. he referred to as like Mister Cooper. Hmm. Mister. Otherwise known as, or also known as, supremely dangerous psychic. Do not go near, or Mister Mister Cunt. <clears throat> well, no, it was Cunt um, That was that's what pissed him off. Mm -hmm. I, I see that he has some colorful names. Interesting aliases. Oh. I won't ask. Uh, so yes, which head of, you... new head of security came up with that last one for him. Ah. Uh, so, where to the captain? Uh, the commander's 
uh, near the top level. You'll you'll know when you get there. Okay, that doesn't sound that hard to get to. Nah, you just gotta take one of the one of the rapid elevators. Always fun to do those. Well, not nah, if you're not used to them. I'll see you later. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later then. Have an in, have a nice day. Yep, I'm heading to the thing, elevator. All right. So, as you head into the elevator, elsewhere on the station. The uh, Zebes tub. Yeah. Should should have probably come out of the same ship, but she. Uh, I'm a ship. Like, what type of ship is the one that Faye come out on? Or is it just a transport ship? It was, yeah. A. But they've dropped was, off any supplies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, they drop off, like, supplies as well as passengers. And, yeah, Evie would have try and get off with the cargo and, like, kind of hide in it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that comment. So... <laughs> As you like get away from all that, uh, all the supplies and stuff that are deposited, like, like y a few people like maybe look at you for a second and then kind of like to look away, like very obviously. Well, when they start looking, she kind of looks back at them, really, just staring at them, dead eyed. I'm assuming that's probably what's turned uh, turn that goes back away from her then. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she'll just um, calmly walk through the hole. She has no idea where she's going, so she'll just calmly walk through the holes. Okay. This one, this one will probably be quite quick to set up because, yeah. So, as you're kind of wandering through the halls, like, what do you do? Um, nothing really. It'd just be exploring. Right. I mean, do you want a physical? Does anyone want a physical description of her? Just the for I I the people who weren't around for your character creation should do. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Um, yeah. we'll, we'll hmm? do it when we have a PC like actually see Evie. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So yeah, um. She's she's not really doing anything specific. She, um, I guess she'll go and do what I spoke to you about earlier. Mm -hmm. Do I need a roll for that or? I mean, you you eventually find a room that you can get into that way. Okay, so do I need a roll for it or? Roll stealth. Okay. What would that be based on? What's that? Because it's not a dex roll. I think it would be wisdom based in this instance. Okay. <laughs> All right. Salazar, you owe me a perception roll. Okay. It is you are like it is currently like late. So No, 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 no. I would Wait. What, what time would it be actually? Hmm. Never mind. Well, either way, you don't notice. You don't notice anything out of the ordinary. Oh, I'm fair. too focused on my work. Yeah. So. Where is Salazar at the moment? Yeah, that's the question. Do I am making rounds in the corridors, or do I potentially might have seen something from live feed from security cameras? No, it, where where is Salazar right now? Yeah, like where is he? Like, what is he doing? Mm, oh, okay. So that's a question for me. Francis would have assigned two people to secure to his job, basically, and those two people were Salazar and a high le and a high leveled um, NPC in security. The NPC would have been assigned to basically his office duties, and Sal Salazar would have been assigned to his rounds and training any new recruits. All right. Okay, so I was just doing rounds. Yeah, I was doing rounds. I kind of missed that. Alright, then. Okay, cool. Then, like... Oh, I've got the free pass then. It's fine. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, that, that'll be it. She'll do what I said I was going to do. Well, until... uh, Salazar? Do you, how paranoid is Salazar? <laughs> uh, I will re- respond to that in a second, but can you just quickly remind me, because I kind of, I think I missed that. Did Francis tell me, like, where he, he's going? Or something? Earth. Uh, Earth. He, he, he said Earth. Uh, how paranoid am I? Uh... Like, on a scale of one to... Mm. Cooper's behind me. Yeah, on a scale of one, the no, no, Cooper's no. always on behind a, on, me. No, on nah, a I'm, I'm not that paranoid, behind because... Flash. It's, it's a scale of one to Cooper's behind me, and then above Cooper's behind me is... Connor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, I didn't have much interactions with Connor, so... No, he's saying that Connor's ridiculously paranoid. Yeah. Uh, I'd say as the days are passing, like seven, well, eight. I'm mostly what... paranoid, like if somebody, like as the situation with the owl man, if somebody like sneaks oh. into my room. Okay, so yeah, you get a message on your compad. Someone's broken into your room. I just like. <sighs> On, and I just if if that's a message from some security guy, I I'm saying no, it's I, like like uh, automatic maybe Salazar would have set up an automatic. Oh yeah, I I would system. have set up definitely. I just like uh, and say to others to security uh, break in potential break in my room going to investigate and I just like as I'm striding towards my room I just c- give a brief pull up a uh, spike thrower from my back and like. <laughs> And go <laughs> to the room. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So when you get there, the door is open. Like some of the lights would 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 the lights be on? Um no no no. no. She would have went straight to the thing. Yeah. Alright. Uh now roll me a perception check. The test is really easy. Uh me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Salazar. Okay. Wisdom base. Yeah, so you hear your shower running. Interesting. Uh, I don't enter the bathroom. I just try to see. No, wait, I just like... Okay, I might be paranoid, but who the hell would have just come into my room and use the shower? So I just like give a quick glance in the room uh, if somebody's if something's missing. If not, nothing. Nothing has been touched. Yeah, if nothing has been stolen. I whatever just... whatever condition that cells are left in, it's literally the the shower is on. That's it. I just like. Okay, this is strange. I pull up a comfy chair. So that's its position toward the doors leading to the bathroom. I sit down and like have, you know, like gently stroking my spike thrower on my lap. Oh, I'm not, par- I'm not paranoid at all. <laughs> so, so what did, I'm you, just holding what did it you put? Really? So it's facing what now? I didn't, like... So he's facing the door. Alright. To the bathroom I mean, you know, there's paranoid and there is like, he's not that stupid. Like... If that was Cooper or something, like, did, would he really use a freaking shower? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Salazar's not stupid. He's just paranoid. So, uh, how long does it take? <laughs> well, considering he should be left undisturbed, I'd say half hour at least. <laughs> All right. So unless he decides. <laughs> so you to know, after I just like check the clock. Hmm. Uh, and after 10 minutes, I stand up uh, and, like, uh, without knocking. Oh, no. Pe- person oh. who have intruded to my room, do you mind stopping using the shower and coming, stepping outside? I want to talk with you. There's no response. I don't think the shower turns off either. Uh, that would be much easier, and of course I'm like this time I, the gun goes slightly up. I'm like like fully prepared 
tension and whatnot. This is station security that would have gone much easier if you just step outside. Again, there's no response. Okay, I just open the door and like point the gun in inside the bathroom. Now, what does what does Salazar's bath uh, shower look like? I'm curious. I don't know. I mean, I am not like the probably the best paid like, guy on the. What sort of shower would it be? Is it just clear glass? Is it like the bubbly glass? Frosted glass. Uh. Your shower. That's a good question. Like the entire like uh, basically that's not only for the bathroom, but the entire like room, the apartment he got, it's like not really a match in terms of like uh, uh, luxury stuff. It's like Spartan warrior style room. So yeah, it would be. It would definitely be probably like clear glass, if anything. Yeah, because he's living alone, so. He didn't. <laughs> what fought. need would he have for frosted glass? True. Yeah, he just steps in, put like uh, cold one minute shower, and just steps out. What's that? Sorry. Like that's what that's like. I think Salazar's routine. All right. Yeah. 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 So like that's the question. Does Evie still there? Yeah, she's in the shower. She's. Got her back to the door. Yeah, so Salazar doesn't <laughs> see anything. <laughs> That's, That's also a fair point. Actually, <clears throat> so do I see her? Guys, no, wait. She w no, she wouldn't have her back to him. She'd be. <laughs> she wouldn't be staring because that'd be fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> no, um. I think she'll be side on and just kind of glance at him from the side, but then carry on showering. Uh, well, if she's glancing at me, I'm like, whom do I see? A young. Child? All right. Um, yeah, she's like, she's extremely young. She's. Uh, sort of, I you see a the, child okay. in your shower. Yeah, exactly. Oh, she's, um, she's, she's four foot three, and she looks like she hasn't eaten in weeks. She's extremely thin. There's like no muscle to any part of her body. Um, yeah. Oh my and god, you a... bastard, you are pulling Maya on me. <laughs> hmm? Never mind. I mean, this reminds me of Maya, but this time instead of NPC, I get a PC. At least for a. Alright. Um, nah. uh, she's got. Uh, would she have scars everywhere? No, I don't think she was any. Yeah. Um. She's got uh, a nose ring and a pair of ear earrings that are mat matching. Uh, they've, all three of them are made of <clears throat> what looks to be a really black, dark, like jet black metal, which doesn't have any kind of um, texture to it. It just looks like void, I guess. Okay, does uh, he like spots? Yeah. Like, because you said he, he, she doesn't have any scars, but... If somebody's looking at her, does would he spot uh, signs of physical abuse? Mm, Apart no, from unless, you being thin. Unless she looks either face or...